Hello, happy Saturday to our wonderful friends that are watching right now out in virtual doll convention world. If you're new here, my name is Rachel and we are here at Turn of the Century Antiques Doll Shop, which is home of the virtual doll convention. And we are eagerly, eagerly planning so many things. In just a few weeks, we are going to be at UFDC for the 75th convention, which is coming up, which is gonna be so much fun. Christopher, Diana Vining, Paul, and myself are gonna be there and we can't wait to see you. So that is coming up. But in the meantime, we have several things that we're gonna be, that we are eagerly planning and putting out before we hit the road for convention. Now, speaking of hitting the road, one of the things that I enjoy, I really do enjoy this, is curating outfits out of things that are basic, basic, we're not gonna use the word basic, we're gonna use the word essential, but are essential pieces to your wardrobe that you can use in a lot of places. So, bum ba da bum, I am, a living example right now. What I am wearing is what would be considered a t-shirt. It's just not any old t-shirt. And the t-shirts the that we're gonna show today later in the video are just not any old t-shirt either. But I have a t-shirt on which I, has been ironed to take out the wrinkles. When I wear t-shirts to work, I always iron out the wrinkles. I have a pair of pleated shorts on, not groundbreaking, but when they are paired together, wrinkles out, belt on, couple pieces of jewelry to make everything pop and some cute shoes, get, get the shoes, okay? We got just a little classic pair of sling back heels here. This is the perfect height for me as a new mom. All of the six inch heels are a thing of the past. I still have them in my closet though, maybe someday. Here's the outfit. So this t-shirt I could definitely wear to the park. I don't wear my good white t-shirts to the park because I don't wanna mess them up. But this is the look. Now this is something that I look totally professional, cute at work, I could go to dinner after this, I could go to any professional meeting, I'm gonna meet somebody to talk about dolls later. This works everywhere. Now, when I am traveling, what I find is that when I pack plain t-shirts, solids, stripes, anything classic, or a basic pair of slacks, I wear those so much. And what is happening in the next year is Ellen Wild is traveling. And in her suitcase, she needs to be able to take some elevated essentials to be able to create some amazing outfits to get her through all of her situations that she's gonna have while she's traveling. And then she doesn't need to, to pack all the fancy outfits because those are coming in her subscription box. So what we did was we curated a collection that is Ellen's Travel Essentials. And in this collection, you can mix and match and create 99 different outfit combinations. Are you gonna love all, out, all of the combinations? No, that's why there's 99 of them. So when you travel, you generally don't travel for more than a week or two. Longest trip you've ever taken, maybe a month. I've never even traveled that long. So you're not gonna need all 99 combinations, but we're giving them to you anyway. So I wanna show you this because it is so dang cute check this out now when you purchase one of the items and we're going to bring in christopher and show all the different ways that you can really make these travel essentials pop but when you purchase the travel essentials you're going to receive a digital download to your email and also a little pocket size version of this which i'm going to show you but this is the combinations so i'm just going to drop these on the floor what we have available are nine tops the only thing that's not new are these two basic Tank tops right here, essential tank tops, not basic. We're not using the word basic. Am I basic or are you just extra? Have you, have you heard that before? It's kind of funny. Or am I, am I extra or are you basic? I, I can't remember, but anyway. We have these tank tops. They have been restocked. This is the only thing that's not new in this collection. Everything else is a new product. So we have nine tops, two skirts. The black and white one's my favorite, but the blue and orange one's really cute too. Pleated shorts, four different colors, okay? I love pleated pants, I love pleated shorts. I never did when I was young, but now I do. Now I've seen the light. Three different pairs of more casual shorts. These are good for sightseeing, traveling. Maybe not being on the plane, because planes can kind of get cold, but hanging out in your hotel room. And then always an essential, bathing suits. We have two new bathing suits. So all of these things together equal 22 pieces, even though the bathing suit is considered two things. And this Dil Hermando in Brazil, you did such a good job. This, this was so much work to vectorize all of these things and then put them together. But check this out. There's 99 different combinations. So if you want to, 
purchase these items for yourself. Go online, go on, go on Amazon or go on somewhere where you can find the, find these items, purchase them for yourself. This is, this is your summer planner for when you go to Europe, you can wear all of these combinations. I think the olive colored shorts, these dark green shorts are my favorite, but there's 99 combinations. So this download is 14 pages and it will automatically come to your email when you buy something from the essentials collection. So, I mean, it just goes on and on and on. And this is, this was a good brain activity for all of us here because it really helped us think about different combinations to make it fun. Now, would I recommend wearing this combination right here? No, I would skip, I would skip this combination if I was traveling, but if I was going to travel for 99 days and I didn't want to wear the same thing, this little handy guide right here would come in clutch. So this is fun. This is something that I have seen a lot for adults, for real people. You can go on Etsy and get these travel planners that show you essential items to take and all the different combinations to expand your mind in the, the fashion realm. So you can wrap your head around different things that you never thought of before. And when I saw this, I thought, we need to do this for dolls. And now we are, now it's here. So it goes on and on, 99, 99 different combinations. It is so much fun. And the way that you can make any one of these outfits look elevated is with the hair and makeup that is already permanently on your dolls. Hair and makeup makes such a big difference. Accessories, it's really all about the accessories. Earrings, necklaces, belts, shoes. All of those things make such a big difference. Your, your, your handbag, your sunglasses. So you can take your basics and make an outfit. Now, when you receive your item in the actual mail, you're going to get this little pocket guide. So this is going to come in your shipment. I am just excited about this. This is just so, it's the novelty of having 99 combinations. We know you're not going to do this, but if you want a challenge, go ahead, go ahead and do it and take 99 pictures and post it. We will love you for it. Here we go. So this, this actual, it's not just digital. This actual piece is going to come in your, your shipment along with other fun stuff. You know, we always, we always do the fun stuff. So th this, this is a wonderful thing that we are putting out in anticipation for our subscription boxes. Our plan is to start our subscription boxes for Anne and for Elowen next month. Okay. In August. And then for Grace, we are looking at, wait, July, August. And then for Grace, we are looking at September. And th those, are our, those are our very hard dates unless we have something happen with production that just really puts us, us behind, but we are right on track. That is the plan. We will reach out over email and let you know when and how to register. And we're very, very excited. So we're gonna bring in Christopher, who has styled a lot of our girls, and we're gonna talk about some of these looks. Now, Christopher has a brain for fashion really fun outfits. We saw that Lady Gaga look. We know. So when I said here, we're going to be styling t-shirts and shorts, he was just kind of like, hmm, nice, exciting. Uh, and I said, no, because you, that's your job. You're going to make it exciting. And then he kind of came around. He kind of came around. So he definitely did because some of these looks are so much fun. So we're going to bring in Christopher and talk about our travel essentials. And we're back. Hello. It's so, me. It's you. Our wonderful fashion guru. So Christopher, what were your initial thoughts when I was like, this is, this is the thing. <laughs> How riveting t-shirts. A little bit. I mean, like, I also understand why it's necessary to have things in your wardrobe that are reliable, you can constantly reach for, and that maybe anchor the rest of an outfit, right? Like accessories are the whole thing, but they still need something to be structured around. And so for summer, you need things that are reliable in that way that can maybe be both casual and elevated. Exactly. And I, I think this really strikes the balance, genuinely. So while you are gallivanting across many perhaps countries and regions and, you know, magical places, you will have things to wear on that journey that yeah. maybe accommodate any sort of activity. And so Christopher is going to take you through these looks one by one, and you can see all the different activities that your Elowins or Nemas and almost or everything or Graces, I yeah. believe besides the swimsuits yeah. and I think that's it. I think the swimsuits are the only thing that are really structured for Elowin. We have skirts and shorts that we're going to show you, but we'll, we'll get to that later. Yeah. Things we'll, are fitted we'll for Grace. Fit. We'll talk yeah. fit, but Grace can definitely wear all of the t-shirts and most of the bottoms. Yeah. Um, I asked the factory to, to make it so they fit both. The only yeah. thing is Grace's 
little rubber, rubber rump needs a little covering to yeah, stick Yeah, something on. smoothing, yeah, for sure. Yeah, something smoothing. And you know what? I understand. I wear smoothing things all the time, so uh, they definitely help. All right, let's jump into our looks. Okay, starting with this one at the top here, this features some of our more casual pieces. It's very, you know, you've had a nice long day traveling wherever you're at, and now you've made it back to maybe your Airbnb or your hotel room, and you're ready for a little, you know, TLC, a little night in with you and some popcorn and maybe a little bit of reality TV or something. So the striped peach shirt is something you can wear with other peach garments. You can wear it with, I mean, as Dee shows you in the both digital and physical copy of your full, you know, lineup. This can be worn with just about anything, but the sort of drawstring pant is a really great way to sort of communicate rest and something casual and something, you know, easy and breezy. You can wear these out. I mean, I, again, I think they'd be great for something like being on a, an airplane or whatever, but maybe that brings you to a place of like staying in for the evening more than it does taking you out. Whereas the shirt can sort of be worn either way. If you need that to be casual or formal, it does both. Uh, paired it with some popcorn and a teddy bear. And then of course her fuzzy slipper mules ready for, again, sort of a, a glamorous night in. And a little pearl headband to keep her hair back as she's like washing her face for the evening. Just very sort of low key. Playing with the color palette of the face and the manicure. It's a great way to bring out that peach and then top it off with some peach glasses. Moving right along, we've got Elowen prepared for perhaps a little violin lesson out on the town. Maybe she is in, you know, Austria learning some classical music techniques. This feels a little bit, to me, a little bit, you know, reminiscent of like 2012 very specifically. So perhaps if you are also stuck in 2012 like I am, you can appreciate sort of a not quite hipster grunge take on, you know, a violin lesson. This shirt is one of my favorites. I actually own several black and white striped tops. Maybe those are knit, maybe those are full sweaters, maybe they're t-shirts and whatever. And I find that each of them are necessary for different reasons, but this is such a classic, timeless, both sort of evocative of something European, but also really universal, just sleek, stylish, trendy t-shirt. I am biased, I love black and white, it's, I fill my life with it, but I think this is something that gives just a little bit of like, visual texture and a little bit of edge to whatever you're wearing. If everything else is sort of color blocking, simple one color, this gives it something a little bit exciting, but you can also pair it with something deranged like plaid and then it's like fun and whimsical. So do that as you see fit. You can also, again, play with silhouette. I think wearing a boot with a high short feels more sort of, I don't know, contemporary and youthful and edgy, where like maybe this would ordinarily have a sandal for something practical. You are allowed to lean into practicality or reject it as much as you see fit with doll clothes. So this I thought was sort of a fun, <laughs> silly, this is, this is for me, this is like a silly indulgent thing. I actually found the boot while I was looking for other accessories and was like, hmm, what can I do with these? And thought it would be such a fun way to sort of play Play off of a summer concert. This is loosely inspired by like a little Cowboy Carter moment. If you're a Beyonce fan, then enjoy. It feels like maybe, you know, I, I want to show you ways that you can wear something very intuitively as, as it comes, and also something that's maybe a little bit excessive, a little bit exaggerated, that allows you to not feel confined to maybe the limitations of just essential. If you wanted to pair just about anything with this, you can. That's the beauty of this collection, is if you feel sort of connected to the message of traveling and you're excited about like, I'm, you know, it's summertime and I can get out and go see things and, you know, whatever, then this is perfect for that. Perhaps also you just want a, you know, staple collection of standards that you can throw anything on with. And perhaps you are, you know, uh, across the pond, you know, overseas and your favorite musician just happens to be on tour. Then maybe you can stop by and do -si do with, you know, a little bit of rhinestones and denim. I, I think pairing a ragged edge on the sleeve and the pop of pearls and whatever, um, also the hair obviously, is like such a great conglomeration to give you something that feels like an elevated casual, hopefully. So with this one, this is really straightforward. I wanted to give you both a, a visualization of the way something comes very simply and then maybe the way to sort of exaggerate something if you would like. This is one of two variations for the swimsuit. You've got a really nice, almost like banana and cream stripe bikini top. Really cute, it's sort of woven in the center to create a sort of stylized knot. It's really cute, both casual and sort of fun and flirty. And then a really gorgeous sort of satiny, 
turquoise bottom that flatters her figure so, so nicely. I really love the way that it cuts and fits and sits. It's just very nice. And there are ways to play with lots of colors with this. So if you wanted to lean into contrast, something like red, uh, you can use that maybe in hair or lip color or what have you. You know, a red shoe with this would be so fun. But then you can also sort of play with the, you know, pop of neutrals and, and something that's maybe a little bit more organic and feels intuitive for something coastal, something on a beach. So we paired a very similar sort of a turquoise acrylic mule and a nice woven basket and then of course an ice cream cone because like what else do you do at the beach but get ice cream and like lounge on the sun it, it feels like the right th this is how i want to vacation i want to go be a, a leather raisin in the sun with a you know cone of ice cream so another sort of intuitive beach moment a monochromatic one almost if you will is just a little fun blue you know seaside moment with Halloween. This t-shirt is one that you can wear, again, with anything. These, these are the sort of two main focal points, excuse me, of this outfit. Something that's not quite sky blue, not quite, you know, like, it's a boy baby blue, but like, around there. Same fabric and fit and feel as the other swimsuit bottom, just in a different color. And I'll show you later, if you haven't already seen, the top that it comes with. Perhaps you could wear the t-shirt over the bikini top, right? Part of the thing about going to the pool, at least for me, is often, you know, the adding or subtracting of layers. If you are trying to go be like a person out in society after the pool, you can't necessarily, I'm not going to stop you, but like you can't necessarily just go in your swimsuit. You may need something to sort of add to that or, or what have you. So you could maybe play with layers that way. A beach towel, naturally. She's got a little book to go read by the, by the seashore. And a hat, actually. This is an exclusive collaboration piece that we did with Tonner for Cleveland. So sorry to tease. I will say off the bat, I've used some of those pieces in this lineup just because they accessorize so nicely. And in, in my own spirit of mixing and matching, if what we are doing is creating a wardrobe for you, we are also creating a wardrobe for us. And perhaps Perhaps you, the viewer, were at Cleveland and you may have these pieces, so who am I to stop you from using them? The hat, I think, is such a great piece. And then you've got almost like a ballet slipper moment with the laces around the shoe in a great, great color. This is the Romantic Possibilities shoe on our long game Eloin. And I think the pairing, I mean, like that color is just perfect. They are almost identical. So she is going out to the beach to read about <laughs> Cinderella and maybe avoid too much sunshine in that hat. This is one of my favorites, actually. I, I tried over and over again to get this to be like what I wanted it to be. And truth be told, I still sort of, I don't know. I want more from this outfit. However, sometimes, although it doesn't feel intuitive to me, less is more. So this might be a really good sightseeing outfit. This is what you're doing a walking tour in. So much of, you know, if you, let's say that you are doing a European summer traveling experience, perhaps, maybe, then <laughs> you may have sort of a necessity for something rainy. And where it might be rainy, you might need a, a little rain boot to be prepared, right? So. To play off of our pop of red, I thought that was a really nice sort of accessory. These we released recently, if you've missed our sort of most recent installment of, of pieces in the boutique. I think we still have this color. Is this color sold out? Nope. We still have this one for sale, so... All three colors. Well, there you go. All three colors are available. And I've styled two of them. The black you can wear with anything, of course. So just sort of a fun way to play with with color and texture. This shirt actually, I know I said it about the black and white one, but this may truly be my favorite. I really, I associate that dark navy blue and red stripe with <laughs> both, again, sort of a bygone era of like 2012, but also a, a European 2012. And I think that this is nostalgic in some way, crazy to say like, you know, only those few years ago could be nostalgic now. And also, it's something that feels contemporary and timeless. I like pairing a little pop of gray with it because everything else is sort of warm neutral, giving it a cool neutral that still feels compatible with blue feels good. Little brown glasses, little brown shorts, just something that she could maybe layer up or down while she's maybe on a, you know, drizzly walking tour through somewhere in Belgium. You know, just a, a casual day out. This is another one of my silly favorites. She's the ultimate tour guide in this outfit. She's maybe, you know, on some coastal place in Italy, somewhere maybe in, you know, Cinque Terre. She's, you know, doing a little bit of hiking. 
and she's got a camera ready to document the whole experience and her her globe that just happens to match her outfit that maybe she can pinpoint where she's at while she's there because it would be you know far too traditional to have a map with you if you're Ella when you're bringing a globe so she's got her wild child hat on playing off of a little black and white in the shirt a little black with the camera and then utilizing that deep beautiful sort of aquatic turquoise both in the pop of something blue in the globe and then these really really gorgeous metallic shoes these are tonner pieces from Cleveland and these are Z's original shoes, Nima's grandmother. So, so fun. This sort of like peasant with a buckle in a, you know, bright electric turquoise, metallic of all things. It feels very fun. And like a proper, you know, little, little shoe to go scuttle around in while you're, you know, sightseeing perhaps. And you couldn't do that without a hat, naturally. So playing with black and white, playing with turquoise, and all of the ways that that can either be dressed up or down. Moving right along to another really fun sort of easy breezy one of my favorites just a little fun riff on a swimsuit moment so this Nima is wearing one of the silk scarf headbands from a recent mix and match sale and sort of utilizing the white in it to work with the stripes and the bikini top and also our beautiful cherry shoes love these if you want another fun whimsical way to pair with these they were intended to be accessories for the cherries and berries collection but i think what really makes this so fun to me is the the color palette of something that is just almost primary so almost primary yellow almost primary blue with a pop of you know something sort of strawberry-ish on the lip feels like it maybe incorporates that red in the shoe and it's it's a little you know sling back open toe she's ready for something casual but it's still fun and flirty and feels intentional this is a really nice sort of deep indigo color for the pleated short and again that does something casual really well or something elevated hopefully by this point you've gotten a grasp on that that these pieces really can take you in either or any direction but yeah i think maybe Maybe this is her sort of seaside thrifting outfit that she has just come back from something a little bit breezy and beachy and she needs to stop off for maybe some you know gelato and a, and a, a you know new pair of shoes or something while she's out i will inevitably just say this <laughs> over and over again but this is one of my favorites actually i think it's sort of simple the color palette is very pale it's very i don't want to say muted but it is sort of organic lots of cream lots of ivory this would show off a pop of color really nicely but if you wanted to sort of commit to something really organic i think it it wears that well that way nicely so we've got our pearl visor from our head to toe sale i think that's actually a really great piece for this it feels summery it feels bright it also feels just a little bit glamorous the way that elowen may actually really truly wear and using the piping of black that ribbon to sort of accessorize the glasses and the purse but that straw color in the hat i think really complements a sort of pale cream palette nicely so you've got sort of a buttercream base in the skirt with an almost marigold stripe and then sort of a cornflower blue detailing and if you wanted to wear a combination of any of those colors we've actually just incidentally we've sold so much of that sort of almost tangerine almost marigold sort of turmeric color that if you wanted to wear any of those with this leather jackets hiking boots we have so many that have been in the boutique before for. reach into the you know the delves of your closet and you just may find something sort of fun and whimsical that you can wear this with a little short cardigan i think really brings this together again the possibility to layer up or down that this is the swimsuit top actually that goes with that bottom and i have displayed it as a piece together on a different doll i'll show you but in case you were you know bated breath <laughs> edge of your seat waiting to find out what that top was this is what it is and then i've shown this with the 70s box grace boot or grace wedge rather this is a really lovely addition again for something that feels summery and bright and easy but you know trendy and fashionable and really deliberate ellen wouldn't be traveling you know anything short of stylish while she's out although it can be simplified it still has to be good and I think this is sort of a you know a, hopefully a good way to do that I think we're coming up on what is probably your favorite this is my favorite classically Parisian oh. this is there's no way to deny it this is truly truly just quintessentially Paris a combination of black and white and also the silhouette of something sort of crisp and clean and minimalistic in the top that 
I don't know, it's very, it's very Roman holiday. The brain fart has ended. It was Audrey Hepburn, boo. This feels very Audrey Hepburn, as I say, and you know, totally fumble through it. I think the neck scarf and the uh, straps of the tank top really, really evoke something that is the balance between casual and glamour. And then black and white and red, again, feels just very classically Parisian to me. Borderline costumey, borderline mime, but I think there is a balance to strike, and I think it's also okay to sort of indulge in stereotypes. Perhaps I'm biased, but I think, I think it's okay at some point to sort of lean into what feels, you know, stereotypical. She's out on the town, she's exploring, she's stocking up on macarons and, you know, luggage and purses and accessories at Louis Vuitton, and, you know, getting some chocolates along the way. The black and white skirt is is sort of done with a deliberate texture in the... you've almost got like a, a denim pattern in the black, that texture is really nice and sort of dimensional, and then you've got a really sort of deliberate, almost linen effect in the, the white stripes of that, or so maybe the, the, the cream stripes of that skirt. I find that most of these pieces, the tops anyway, wear really nicely tucked into the bottoms. Of course you can wear them over the top, however you see fit. D has given you lots of inspiration, so feel free to play with that as you'd like. But I do think, especially with the skirt, the silhouette really, really is enhanced by being tucked in and you know what what is any better accessory than a red lip remember right you know very very French. We've got a sort of hailing a cab fresh out of the the airport Nima here. I like the sort of almost utilitarian effect that the tank top and shorts together by themselves give, particularly when paired with the silhouette of a boot. It's almost, it's like a very sort of chic but militant combination, something that is both feminine and a little bit masculine. And I love the straw hat with that. Again, you can sort of play literally on the color of something like straw, and it's almost an exact match with this short. These were the accessories for the box. And then we've got a beautiful little Louis suitcase that I hope does not bring PTSD <laughs> to all of the viewers that would have liked one. And they sold out very quickly. Maybe perhaps we can noodle some more luggage in the future. We'll see. I mean, as this is just a little bit of a traveling inspired collection, maybe we can get some more luggage. I found it fun to match a pair of eyeglasses to her lip color because why not? Why not? <laughs> I think I'm funny. Sort of a classic, I mean, rather messy. I did not get around to brushing this wig, please excuse me, but a really fun finger wave classic vintage silhouette that I think really is so, so nice with this hat. They just, they frame each other very well. It's cream, it's white, you really can't go wrong. And on Nima, I think is really striking and really sort of classic. Home stretch, we are on to one of our final swimsuit ensembles. This is very straightforward. Again, sort of a fun, whimsical way to play with this piece, but just so you can see sort of as it comes what that looks like. So here's that swimsuit top and the swimsuit bottom as they would come together, and ways that you can play with color or texture or inspiration or vibe or concept or imagination to go with it. So this delightful little earring is again a Tonner piece from Cleveland. Sorry to everyone that wasn't there. If you wanted to pair any peach accessories with this, it would invite that really, really well. Particularly considering that this is on the long game, this doll has really nice sort of, almost like a watercolor effect on the face with the blush and the lip application. They are so delicate and so peachy. And so I think that is sort of your foothold for accessorizing. And it's a great complementary color with that really pale sky cornflower blue. So I used maybe a pair of shorts rolled up under, her, under the arm that she may change into later after she's done at the beach. She can tuck them into her beautiful, pastel Louis tote. And then what else would Ella wear to the beach but a, <laughs> a fur toe, you know, dust mule. It's just, it's very, um, <laughs> it's very indulgent and glamorous and ridiculous and I love it. This, I know it's actually quite simple but this is one of my favorite looks. There I go again, every time. I have to stand by what I do, you know what I mean? I don't always, but you know, in this moment, it feels cohesive in some way. And I'm really glad to have a swimsuit for Eloin that is a, a two-piece right now, because I don't think we really have anything quite like it. And she's due for one, it's summertime. Moving on to this little number. So we have a t-shirt that is the same, you know, general fabric and pattern and concept as the black and white one, but this is in a really nice saturated royal blue. Again, feels very European to me, very classic and timeless, and I actually paired it with that deep indigo short. I think they wear together really nicely. You could fully do this shirt with 
any color short. You could actually, there are so many pieces from the Mix and Match Boutique over the last two years that would be great with these. But, but again, I think there's room for versatility and specificity with all of these pieces. Use that with your own discretion. I like a primary color palette. Again, I love the classic red, really nice primary lemon yellow in the shoe. And then actually I was hoping to use the red accessory on the lip and tie into a shopping basket. Because while you're around, maybe you don't want to eat out at every meal. Perhaps you want to explore, you know, the market nearest to you while you're out on your travels. And uh, you know, she's, <laughs> she's picking up some produce to head back to the hotel later, maybe the Airbnb, and cook herself up a, you know, pr maybe prepare a nice fruit salad. And something that feels bright. I mean, I can almost feel the breeze on my face with this one. It just feel, it feels very summery and bright and sunshiny, and it feels sort of jolly. So maybe, maybe this is a, you know, she's taking a break from the ennui, a vacation from ennui in this outfit. This one, I don't know how I feel about yet. This one's a little bit silly. This, again, this could be something that you are vacationing in or very much just staying at home in. I envisioned this as like whatever you're wearing while you are preparing to host a party. If you are, you know, cooking or baking or, or getting your, your home situated for company, you're probably not in your finest outfit just yet. And I think the sort of lounge short with the nice slouchy t-shirt is the perfect thing for bustling around your home in before company arrives when when later then you can throw on something nice but she's still got a good shoe because she needs to be you know maybe she's gone through some uh, deliberating as far as costume pieces go she's she's both cooking and imagining an outfit at the same time running between the two um, so she's got her mixing bowl and oven mitt and apron ready to get ready as it were moving on over here very rudely by the head i've got nima showing off sort of a Again, the, the sort of play on femininity and masculinity in one look a little bit. This feels <laughs> utilitarian and militant. Perhaps if, if Laura Croft were stopping to pick some flowers on the side of the road. Um, she's got to be prepared in a nice practical but uh, fashionable shoe. And I, I've really been enjoying this sort of organic woven basket with that, you know, very pale lemon accent in the handle. And I don't know, I mean, maybe you're, it, it's tulip season in, in the Netherlands and she's got to go pick flowers with her, with her friends. And she's got a string of pearls to, you know, do it in because you need both glamour and practicality. As you were mentioning, the olive short is one of my favorites. It wears with any anything really nicely, especially the olive tights. So if you have any of the tights in the boutique, feel free to break those out for any of these pieces. They layer with skirts so nicely, they layer with shorts so nicely. Perhaps you're doing just a bathing suit bottom and oversized t-shirt that hangs just, just over the hip. They'd be great for a, a tight as well. They really do layer so nicely. And this belt is actually from the Land and Sea. This is the Rainwalking belt. This accommodates, these belt loops accommodate just about any belt that we have. The, the one belt that I wanted to use was like a really big thick belt on Nima. So if you have something that's oversized, it's gotta be the right width to sit on top of the waistband without going through belt loops and also not being too large. Just about everything else will fit really nicely under those belt loops. And I think the black and green is a go-to, seamless, very intuitive combination. So Christopher, you did curate the colors and the I did. stripes. Mm -hmm. Oh, we have one more. Oh, we do have one more. But as you were saying. I want to know after this one, your top five. Ooh, okay. It's well, it's gonna be hard. I'll have some time to noodle, I guess. This I thought was sort of her, you know, now that she's done traveling, she's done it all, she's seen it all, she's taken the pictures, she's eaten the food, she's wiped out. Not all of traveling is always the like fun invigorating stuff. You need to be able to rest in between whatever your events are to really enjoy whatever you're doing next. If you're just on burnout the whole time, you're not actually participating in the vacation that you're on. You're just sort of muscling through it. And I think it's necessary to take a, you know, a point of pause between even in the middle, middle of a day, you know, go get brunch, see a museum exhibit, it, come back to your hotel, take a little snooze, have some cake in your pajamas, and then go back out maybe for a night on the town. So we've got the peach striped shirt with the sort of vibrant peach drawstring. This is a practical drawstring, although she <laughs> doesn't really need it. It sits, the, the waist is fitted really nicely for, for both dolls, but the drawstring does work if you wanted to cinch that or, or what have you. You can sort of play with that a couple ways. Eye mask and socks make that feel really cozy and comfortable and natural, sort of 
time to unwind. And then, of course, she's got some cake accessories to enjoy, maybe, you know, a little, a little Golden Girls in bed while she's waiting for, you know, room service to come bring her more treats, as it were, something like that. And then, you know, in a smoky eye, of course. Gosh, top five, top five, like, individual pieces? Yeah, I could, I could name my top five. Okay. My top five, I love the blue t-shirt. Okay. The black and white skirt. Yep. The pink t-shirt, the plain pink t-shirt. Okay. I just can fill that with everything. Sure. The blue swimsuit. Yeah. And the olive khaki shorts. Those are good, great contenders. I would say this t-shirt is definitely probably my favorite of the t-shirts. I really love the color combination and I love that it's both specific and versatile. It feels like a very fashionable way to wear something casual. I would say this swimsuit variation is my preference, but specifically the swimsuit top. You can wear that with this skirt so nicely. You can wear that with this skirt so nicely. It goes with any short combination. It would also be great with the drawstring lounge short like that. I love that color. It's yellow without being aggressive. I just think it's like, it's really pretty. This skirt too, I would agree with you. This is such a must have. It's so beautiful. Again, timeless, it's feminine, it's classic. It fits so nicely. It's just the right sort of silhouette and shape. And if you wanted to wear this with any sort of t-shirt, really you could, but it does so well with something. Plain. Plain, thank you. What is that, four, three? That's three. Gosh, I don't know. I, I if it's not lame, I think the tank tops actually, both of them are really, they're very, very necessary. I think the way that the tank fits is very flattering. It gives just a little bit of negative space right around the, the collarbone. It just sits really nicely. You can have it up over the shoulder, but you can also sort of cover the joint and it feels just a little bit more vintage, a little bit more feminine. I love the way that it sits. Both of them, they're just, they're A plus. And then I'll say probably, probably the pale khaki short. I think that like buttercream is really nice. It feels sort of Jurassic Park, but like in like a fashionable way. You can really get away with any of them, but I think that is, is the one that I found myself reaching for the most. And I actually had to sort of dial back because I was hoping to get every piece in here twice if I could. I have every piece in here once at least. And a lot of them are duplicates, but that was the one that I was like over and over again reaching for to be like, oh, I just naturally gravitate toward this texture, this, this idea, this color. It felt really intuitive. It's, it's such a fun collection and I, I've, <laughs> I've been won over by the simplicity of it. It's necessary to have a sort of artillery to reach for of timeless, classic, both casual, but lending themselves to elevation pieces. I agree. Thank you so much, Christopher. Thanks, guys. So there you go. If you were a little bit hesitant before, I'm sure we have won you over with how essential these essentials are. So you're going to be able to shop soon in the Elowin Boutique. There will be fit notes on every single piece so that you can know if it fits Grace or if it fits, uh, they all fit Elowin and Nima, but most of them fit Grace too. There's just a little, there's, there's a couple fit notes on all of them. So I know a lot of you have asked for the buy it all button. And we are going to have a limited amount of bundles that have every single piece, except for the tank tops, because all of you have purchased the tank tops and there's something that we have released already in the past, but everything else is a new release. So there will be a bundle. And if you order the bundle, it will come to you at a slight discount than if you bought everything by itself. But we know a lot of you may have similar things, maybe not. And you want to buy a couple of pieces to participate in this trend. So it's going to be a lot of fun. So you can do both. And then of course, all your packages are going to come with lots of fun stuff. So in the next couple of weeks, we are going to be sharing some different videos, doing some different content. And then of course, revving up to see you all at UFDC. The virtual doll convention is going to have a gathering. One of the nights, I believe it's, it's either Thursday or Friday. They changed it so that it does not coincide with the Ruby Red Galleria gathering, which is a very good thing. But gatherings are also very informal. It's kind of like a party. They're done late at night from 8.30 to 10. So if our gathering coincides with other gatherings, because there's multiple gatherings happening at once, feel free to bop around. It will not offend us at all if you want to come in, come to ours for 20, 30 minutes, and then go to the next thing. We know that there are a lot of important things happening that night, and feel free to just go and see as much as you possibly can. So from our doll shop to yours, from virtual doll convention, straight into your home. Thank you so much for watching our fashion show today, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.